Hello everyone. Today, um, I wanted to kind of go over something that I've been thinking about and trying to figure out. Um, I bought a honeycomb bed a while back and it's pretty decent. It's a 400 by 400. I did find the cheapest one though and I really I don't want to pay 60 bucks for a honeycomb bed because they end up being destroyed now I mean everybody's budget is different and that's why I kind of wanted to go over this um, because I thought that we could show I could show you how to make a honeycomb bed relatively cheap for example I bought this stainless steel mesh off of Amazon it was two packs like this for $15 and that's the bulk of the material that you're going to need. Now you can make up to four um, honeycomb beds of 300 by 300. Or if you're using Imperial, that would be about 12 inches by 12 inches. So um, let me kind of show you how I, what, what idea I had and then we'll go from there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this out at 300, which will be for me right along this line, right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of follow that line across, and it, the width is already at 300 or 12 inches. Um, so once I cut across that line, um, it'll basically show you... Uh, the size that it, that you'll you'll have if you choose to make one this this big. I'm just using a pair of snips here. Go through it pretty quickly, pretty effortlessly. I don't even have to put much pressure on it to cut through it. I would suggest though wearing gloves with these because the edges are sharp. If you're not willing to get your hands all cut up. I'm not willing but I didn't have any gloves or laying around right now. So there we go. That's and that's as easy as it was to cut. So my next the next idea I had was now I got two basically. I can make two out of this one. You can have something like that underneath it or you can put like a silicone mat underneath it um, and that'll keep the laser from damaging your coil board. So for this you're gonna need two of, cut down two of these dowel rods, uh, one, uh, two different sizes. So you're gonna need two of 12 inches and um, two of a ten and a half inches. Now why ten and a half inches? Because you've got two three quarter dowels. Three quarter plus three quarter equals one and a half. So we cut down one and a half to make a perfect square. So we just mark I've already marked out the two twelves. So I'm just gonna mark out the two ten and a halves right now. And we'll go ahead and uh, get those cut. Alright, so as you can see we have our two dowels cut down and I've kind of uh, test fit the stainless mesh on top just to see how it would work and it seems to work just fine. Um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just run some real quick self tapping screws through each side to hold the middle that brace in and then I'll go ahead and just use some wood screws to tack it down around the edges. Uh, one moment while I do that. Okay. Okay, done. So that might trigger some of you uh, that it's not perfectly flat or perfectly square. But the fact is I'm not doing this to make it make a perfect thing. Um, I could have taken my time, used my table saw, cut down each piece. But I'm kind of doing it with what I think some home people would have. And that way they can kind of 
see how it will work. You, you professionals don't need my help to make something like this. Um, but basically, that's how 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 the frame would go together. And you can kind of twist these a little bit if if you got strong enough screws to make it a little bit more level and flat. So what I'm gonna do now is get this on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and screw this in, and we'll be pretty much done. Alright, so there we have it. I'll go ahead and do some cutting tests on it versus my real my honeycomb that I bought and see the difference, see if there's any any cutting difference or any issues with the, with the air or burning on each side. Because that's basically why you want a honeycomb is... When you're cutting, you want it to make sure that the the laser passes all the way through and doesn't heat up the other reflect back and heat up the other side of the material. So, all right, I know I know it's not pretty, and I might take my time and make a bigger and better one, but for right now, this is it. Got enough space left. Yeah. Let's do that. Do two, two passes this time. Let's make it free just to do it on the safe side. Let's go ahead and frame it. Slow it down just a little bit. So we got it pretty soon. Go ahead and cut through that other part. Like we went through already. But I'm just gonna let it run just cut just fine, perfect. No charring on either side. And other piece looks pretty good. I'm gonna try it with my regular honeycomb now. Let me get that set up and I'll be right back. All right, I think we're ready to go on this one. Um, same exact result, uh, same exact, exact test. Let's go ahead and run it. Let me frame it first. Looks good. Let's go ahead and go.
Alright, let's see how it looks. Cut through as well. And to me it looks about the same um, on both sides. I mean, if I switch those both, if I if I switch those around and ask you to tell me which one was from which, I don't think I could tell you the difference. Um, I mean, nothing's really going to compare to a nice honeycomb bed, but if you're in a pinch, I would uh, I would say go ahead and give us a try. Uh, I mean, to be honest. I I wouldn't be afraid to use this on my laser. Now, will they last a hundred years? No, but they'll get you through. All right. Thank you for watching and have a good day.